Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. My furry feline Raven is in the kitchen. Um, hi baby. You can come up and say hi. She was in the kitchen and I heard her nibbling a second ago. Hi baby, you can come say hi. Hi, come here. Come here. Come here. I just gave her her treats. Hi baby girl, come say hi. Hello, this is Raven. So I have a few new subscribers. Welcome. You are not just a subscriber. You are my yarny friend. And this is Raven. She's 15 years old. And for those of you who may not know, the channel is named after her. She's my biggest inspiration is in life as it's just me and her here. And um, I've had her since she, she was a baby. And it's just me and her. I have three younger sisters. I have an older brother. And... Family drama, but who, who doesn't have family drama? Um, I have a full-time job, and I upload all kinds of different videos at random different times. I don't really have a set schedule, because I'm kind of just leisurely doing this channel, as I have a full-time job, other responsibilities, taking care of my home, blah, blah, blah. So I don't get to spend a lot of time doing yarny things as much as uh, other podcasters get to do so but I appreciate your patience and you bearing with me I just wanted to pop in and just say something sweet and loving and wanting to share with you the um, the blessings that I have received today and um, wanting to encourage you and everyone else to to spread um, love to other people and, and blessings if you can. So <clears throat> I was at work tonight and um, I wasn't expecting this. Janae came in. She's one of the night clerks. She's amazing to work with. She's very sweet. Um, we were talking and she had concerns for one of our regulars. He was sitting outside in the parking lot for God knows who, how long. His name's Vern. This really cool black guy. I've known him for like two years. He literally lives like four blocks away from my store. He's a truck driver, comes in all the time. In the summertime, he always has like a pickup truck with fish in the back. He keeps like an ice cooler and a bucket of bait. He'll come in the store wanting to get a couple things. He's like, hey, come, Sarah, come check out the fish I got in the back of my truck. I'm like, oh, what'd you catch this time? I love going fishing. My dad used to take me when I was really little. I don't go to, I get I don't get to go fishing as often as I used to anymore, but it's something I used to love doing. Um, I was on my way out for the evening and this other black lady was out in the parking lot and she said her name is April. She said she knew me. I feel so bad because I don't remember her face, but as often as she's been coming into my store and seeing me, um, she thinks I'm a sweetheart. She thinks I'm an angel. Like I was, that's the blessing that I received. Two very, very nice people, both at the same time, offered me a ride home because I'm on my scooter. And it's so cold outside. Of course, it was only in the 40s tonight. It feels great. When it's in the 40s, between the 40s and 70s, it's it's like the perfect temperature. I put on like a, a long sweatshirt and my tennis shoes. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't need nothing else. <coughs> Excuse me. When I'm on my scooter, I make hats and I make twisted ear wraps. And I have scarves, and I have a scarf that's made out of wool. It's really, really thin material, and it's literally the size of my entire body when I unfold it. I would say it's about four feet wide and six feet long. It's got like maybe three, four inch, four inches of, of a fringe on both ends, but it is super, super warm. It is literally as thin as a bandana, as thin as this bandana, and it's super thin, and it's pretty much 100% wool. It's one of those NFL scarves from the Baltimore Ravens. I love it so much. It is so warm. I go to, I go to the dentist office. It's so cold in there. I use it for a blanket because it's big enough and it's so thin when I fold it up, it doesn't take that, that much space. So it's like a blanket scarf or a shawl scarf. And I keep, I wear that around my neck, get on my scooter and go, go, go. I don't get cold at all. So I wanted to say thank you to April for being such a sweetheart. She's offered me a ride home and um, we exchange phone numbers. So if I need a ride, I can message her up, say, hey, are you available? Blah, blah, blah. Um, 
So that's really sweet. I want to get to know her more so I can get to know her face better and, and get to know her as a person and so I can actually more, more easily recognize her when she comes in the store. And Vern is the one that, who ended up giving me a ride home because I actually knew him more. Um, <clears throat> as often as April comes into the store, I see like 300 plus people a day. I can't remember everyone's face. I'm so sorry. I can't. I just can't. Um, as much as I would like to, to memorize everybody's face um, and learn everyone's name, I can't. I can't remember names to save my life. So, but very, very sweet angels. And something happened recently. It was negativity, so I don't want to talk about it too much. Um, it was an extremely long, nasty comment. Someone left a comment on one of my old videos that happened like three weeks ago. There was a really big incident that happened on New Year's Eve when I was at work. And... As God is my witness, I try to replay everything back in my mind and try to speak truthfully about what I think happened. <clears throat> um, well, this commenter didn't agree with me. She doesn't even know me. He doesn't even know me. I don't even know if it's a girl or, or a woman. It might be a woman because, I don't know, that's just my guess. The name and multiple other reasons. But um, anyways, it's so funny how people will say such mean things to you. And things that you know are a lie because they don't even know you. And they don't even know what kind of person you try to be. Because I know who I am. I know who I try to be. I try to be a good person. I try to be... I try to be... What, what's, a, what's a good... I don't... I'm lost for words right now. I try to be a good person overall. I try to help people. I try to be nice. Yes, I have, I have extreme annoyances. I, I can get annoyed and irritated very easily, but I'm, I try so hard to be tame and nice and polite to people. It's just hard to do that 24 seven, especially when you work in retail. Um, I love my retail job, but sometimes it's difficult and sometimes people are rude, but you know, you gotta just brush it off and, and wipe up the spilled milk and move on because I mean, it's not going to do you any good to get all mad and frustrated and let your stresses run, run rampant because then you're going to be creating health issues for yourself and I know sometimes it can be hard but this is me right now trying to be positive um what I thought back to because of Vern and April tonight this person I'm not going to say what it, what all they said except for the very last part the very last thing they said was that I'm an undercover racist I laughed my ass off so hard it's making me laugh now the, the, the fact that someone who I don't even know who doesn't even really know me thinks that I'm an undercover racist and I am really good friends with so many black people it's hilarious when I was in second grade I had a friend her name is Shantae 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 she had short curly hair just like me we were wearing like similar tops and and cute little overall shorts and we were outside uh, of the school building on recess. It was like the cutest thing. We were just like, we were like salt and pepper. Literally. <laughs> She's black. I was white. When I was five, that's when I had my first female black, um, black friend. I don't remember her name. I have a picture of her in one of my old, old, old phone, um, photo albums. Which are sitting right here. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to try to find the picture. Um... My first little black friend, I was five years old. We would go to the swimming pool all the time in the apartment complex that my mother and I lived in at the time. We just, we went to the pool. There were two swimming pools in the complex. One was more secluded. It had a lot of um, trees surrounding it. And it was quiet. A lot of people didn't go to that pool very often. The other pool was more open. It was closer to the front office. There were hardly any trees around. It was. It seemed like it was just more wide open. Like it was more exposed. More people could see you. And um, I have a lot of old pictures in here. Me and my teenage years and growing up. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys would ever be interested in seeing my photo album. Oh yeah, there she is. Yeah, I was five. My first female black friend. This is proof right here that I was not born racist, and I'm trying to prove right now that I am not a racist because diversity is beautiful. I didn't write her name on here, but that's that's her. That's her. This is from Oklahoma City, War Acres. 
1990. If anyone recognizes this little girl, she would be 36 years old right now. Between 34 and 37, assuming we were the same age, she might be a year older than me. Such a cute little girl. If anyone recognizes her, please let me know. Because I would like to find her, if possible. Um, oh, here's another picture of us. We were sitting in our lawn chairs. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's like a throwback Thursday already, right? <clears throat> so, anyways, when I'm at work, other than trying to stay positive and stay nice, and <clears throat> I, I try to do godly things um, for the most part, at least 90% of the time, I try to do things that are pleasing to God. Of course, I mean, I'm, I'm, I fail at that all the time. Don't get me wrong. Um, <clears throat> but there are three goals that I try to accomplish when I'm at work. Helping someone, making someone laugh, and giving them a compliment. Um, I don't always accomplish all three of those things every day at work, and a lot of times I forget. But because I make people laugh so frequently at work, um, that's pretty much most often what I do is make people laugh. I didn't make anyone laugh today, because sometimes you just have those days where you just, eh, you know? But I did help someone. Someone was um, with a cane. And anyone who's disabled, if I'm able to, I try to rush ahead and help them. Um, so Vern gave me a ride. April, I have her number now. And she's available when she's available. Um, I thought there was... Oh, there's something I want to show you. I did finish making a project. <clears throat> Hi, baby girl. <clears throat> this is off the knitting loom. This is another hat and scarf set I'm going to send to some friends of mine. Here's the hat. Hey, baby girl. Raven just jumped on the arm of the couch. There she is. <clears throat> Got some more yarn sitting over here. So this is made with... Oh, shoot. Do I have the yarn sitting here? It's made with a beautiful yarn. Where are the rest of the cakes? <gasps> oh, no. Okay, here they are. <laughs> I got them. I got them right here. This is um, Lion Brand Ferris Wheel. The colorway on this one is called Vintage Carousel. And that's how it turns out. It's reversible, of course. And this is a longer hat. Um, the last hats I did were 100, 100 rows. This one was 120 rows. So that way it has a brim. And then the boys can, can they can wear it slouchy if they want to. And I made a scarf to go with it. I used one and two thirds of a cake. I had four cakes, so I'm, I, I used one and two thirds of a cake. And here's a scarf. I made the scarf a little bit longer. I think this one is 220 rows, maybe 230. It might be 220. But this is a four worsted weight acrylic yarn and it's a roving style so I would not um, just because of the roving style yarn it's not tightly spun and twisted so I think the fibers it would um, felt more easily um, and maybe it would peel more easily so even though it says machine washable and dryable do a swatch first um, I'm going to do a granny square swatch at some point and throw it in my wash machine see how it works up and when I do big laundry at the laundromat, I'll put these in the dryer. These cakes are 3 ounces, 85 grams, 270 yards, 247 meters. So there's the scarf. And I got my hat done. This one's for me. All my scrap yarns left. <clears throat> this one is the one that I made with 100% wool. This is the plum heather. And the white is the reflective... Um, reflective yarn. It's a line brand yarn, but I don't have the ball band, but it's reflective. And for a, a little bitty skein, it was like 98, maybe 102 yards. And it was five bucks at Joann's. But because it's reflective, this will reflect in, against traffic lights. And, and I made it a longer hat. This is a four worsted weight yarn. So I went to uh, 240 rows, 240. This hat might be 230. At least 230 because it's a four worsted weight yarn. So 230 on that hat because it's it's on the thinner side. And this one is 240, um, 240 rows on my loom. And it's, it's reversible. Pretty much looks the same on both sides. 
um, and I'll put it on so you can see it. And I like to, I like to slouch it in the back like this. And if I want to, I can put all my hair in. I can fold the brim if I want to fold the brim up. I like how it turned out. It's, it's, um, it's warm and cozy. It's a little snug, but it'll keep my ears warm. It's double layered. Well, I'm going to go now. I'm just about to run out of time. So thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week now. Happy Monday. Um, love each other. Give each other blessings. Say something positive to a stranger if you can. I love you guys. Y'all have a good one. I will see you soon.